In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make deep house in the style of black coffee. Over the past few months, I've been making these in the style of genres and they are continuing to be going insane in terms of popularity. So don't forget to check those other ones out. And today I've had loads of requests for deep house slash Afro house in the style of black coffee. So that's what we're going to be covering today. I'm going to be using Ableton Live 10, but you can follow along in any door using just your stock plugins and you can download the project file and all the samples for free below this video as well so don't forget to do that if you like this video give it a big fat thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this bad boy channel if you haven't already so without further ado let's hop into the door and get it done okay deep house in the style of black coffee i'm going to do this in one take so you're going to see mistakes my creative process and everything so the first thing i'm going to do is choose a suitable tempo black coffee's tunes are kind of really really groovy so not too fast i'm going to choose 118 and i'm going to call it flat white do you see what i did there black coffee flat white and i'm going to drink a sip of my flat white from my edm tips mug mmm if anything it tastes better from that okay let's do it right so i'm just going to give this a name and then we i've got my magic list as well so i'm going to just go through that as well so as i said black coffee's vibe is uh, really deep he uses his south african influences so there's like tribal drum type things like djembe i think they're called or bongos and uh, also live instruments so lots of real bass guitar uh, vocals saxophones things like this so it's a lovely combination of real instruments samples and synthesizers so we are going to go into all of those this is just my default ableton template so i've got a few um, aux channels I've got my side chain trigger here, which we probably aren't going to use actually because this type of music isn't really compressed hard. You know, it's got lots of space to breathe. So I'm going to turn off kicks um, because that's MIDI and I actually want to do it in audio today just to shake things up a bit. So I'm going to call that kick, color it green. And then I'm going to choose a kick from my favorite kicks. I'm going to choose something that's nice and deep. but not too compressed. So there we go. Let's just copy that, paste it, bomb, 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 bomb. That looks like it's gonna be an absolute tune. Oh yeah, definitely. Right, I'm gonna turn that down to minus 10, maybe minus eight, just to avoid any clipping on the master channel. And the first thing after the kick is I'm going to work out the chords because they are going to be really important with this kind of music and after I've jammed them in on the piano I'll show you how you can make them if you can't play the piano this is going to be a bit tricky because my microphone's in the way whatevs so instruments and then I will go to I know sounds pianos I'm just going to use the Ableton live ones but again I don't really like the Ableton pianos that much uh, contact have got some better ones by native instruments so that's what I would usually use but this one will do for now so we want something really really deep and vibey so I'm going to jam it out and then show you how to, to do it I'm going to move this mic get out of the way mic um, and I'm going to play it in rather than program it in I mean and then I'm going to play it in rather than program it in so it's got that human feel to it and what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually start this a bit further on because what? I'm going to start this a bit further on. That makes sense. Um, I'm going to start this a bit further on so I can start playing before we hit the beat. Try this again. So, okay, there we go. You can come back now, Mike. Good little boy. Uh, so we have now got a simple chord sequence. It's in A minor natural, actually, so it's really easy to do. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that in a sec as well. Let's just have a listen. And I'm going to tweak some of these, the timing of these things, but not using quantize. 
because I want it to sound human. But I didn't play it well. Don't worry if you're not a pianist, uh, neither am I. So you can tweak it and you can program it in. But if you do program it in, try and add a bit of human discrepancy in the, in the timing. That will do for now. I'm gonna add some reverb to that quickly. So I've got room reverb, hall reverb on the auxiliary channel. I'm just gonna feed some of that hall reverb into the piano. Take out some of the low end from the reverb. Increase the decay time. Turn it down. So that's a nice base to start from. So I'll tweak that in a bit anyway. And we'll, when we do the mixing, we'll tweak that. So on to the next thing. Chords, piano, percussion. Yeah, so this is where we're going to really get that black coffee, South African type rhythm going on. So we're going to be using some groove for this as well. I'm going to use a drum machine. You can see here by clicking this routing button and then right clicking, go and create re uh, return chain. You can actually, uh, and this send, sorry, the, yeah, they, these buttons here, press them, stuff happens. Then you can choose your global auxiliary channels from there, and then you can feed some of the drum into those, some of each dr separate drum into those auxiliary channels. So let's go to some drum hits. I'm going to go... I'm going to add some hi-hats first, real ones as well, well, real sounding ones. Oh, wifey at the window. Uh, right, let's drag three of those in. And I'm just going to knock up a nice rhythm. And I'm using three so there can be a difference in each hit and it's going to make it sound more real. like that. And I'm just going to copy and paste that and feel the groove. Bit of discrepancy at the end there, switch things up a bit. Uh, let's now, I think they're a little bit low, so I'm just going to transpose each of these up three, um, like so. There, it, You can do that in a quicker way, but there's only three, so I can't be bothered. And now you can see I can feed some of these drums into, with these send controls, into the room reverb on the auxiliary channel. And I just tweak that. Turn them down a little bit. Itty bitty bit. I'll do it here. Just grab them all together. And now to add this groove. So I'm going to go into my groove clips here. Right click browse groove library. Now instead of using an MPC, I'm going to go into one of these lesser used ones. So I'll go into Latin percussion. Um, I know South Africa is not Latin, but uh, there is no South African rhythm like in the groove pool. So let's see what we got. Um, probably go, oh, Af Afro jazz. So what I'm going to do is drag that onto the drums like so and just listen to see if it's got the, the groove I want. That's quite cool. So all it does is it's 
slightly changing the timing. So the visual equivalent would be like this. Some of the notes are being like shifted slightly one way and the other, but it can be applied non-destructively to any MIDI clip now. So I'm gonna save that and then I'm gonna add some more percussion. I'm gonna add some, um, like those drums, I don't know what they called, not bongo. I, th I think it's pronounced jet djembe. Let's have a look. I found them earlier. Um, where would they be? Are they? No, they wouldn't. I know. I probably got them in my bongo thingy, even though they're not. Timpa timbali. Yeah, that's quite cool. It's a bit like you know um what's it called steel drummy here we go gem gembe i'm going to stop saying that now that word there so again as with the other drums i'm going to load in three different ones so we can add some variation in texture to each one um like so And I'm almost completely following the same track as the, or the same rhythm as the hi-hat. But I'm switching it up slightly just to get some more rhythm and groove in there. And the, the groove template is applied to the whole of this drum clip. So it's being applied to these drums as well. That I've just Like there's some dodgy timing there in the piano which we can sort soon but as for now it's on to the next thing which would be funk guitar that's right i forgot to mention there's a black coffee often has like wicked little funky riffs in his um tracks as well so i'm going to add one there um how am i going to do this i might use splice actually um just to try and find it before i do that all of this, these notes are in the key of A minor natural, so it's really easy. Um, it's just using the white notes, so you don't have to worry about hitting the wrong notes. It's pretty easy, as long as you start from A. And if you press fold, you can see all of those notes are just the white notes because they're all in the key of A minor natural. That's the easiest key to write dance music in, that and C major for the same reason. It's just only using the white notes. Um, so that makes things easy as well, because if we open up Splice, like so, um, and I'm hoping that you can hear this, I'll test it. And in fact, I'll have to pause the recording to test this. So what I'm going to do is, look, you can just search in Splice, you can go like um, funk guitar, type it in, then you can whack in A minor, and then you've can, you can play it along. It doesn't matter about the tempo yet because we can change the tempo when we bring it into Ableton. But what matters is the texture and yeah, how it matches with all our other sounds. So I can just preview them. So I'd probably actually choose funk from these genres. Exactly like that. Download that, yes please. But you can hear it's like the wrong tempo. So we're just gonna wait one sec whilst that downloads and I'm gonna check my recording now actually. Okay, I'd screwed up on the last little bit because you couldn't hear what was coming from Splice but it's fine because I've sorted it out so. You can hear I was just previewing different guitar licks from within Splice and I found the one that I like, which is this one. 
So if we play now. Let's have a listen to it. That's the one, so I'm just going to drag and drop that. And we can see, stop playing splice. It's still playing. Stop getting carried away splice. Let's just shut it up. Right, okay. It's a bit kind of slow, so what you could do is you could bring it back um, or you could grab it all by pressing Command and A and then quantize it. Now that messes it up. So I'm just going to hold Command and drag it back slightly so it's a little bit more in time. And you can go in and tweak things manually as well. You can either do the warp marker in there, like this, hold command, drag that, double click and then drag it. Yes, I'm just going to keep that loop because it's funky as hell. i um, just going to splice that open there and then loop it. This is just going to be low in the mix to keep that groove going. Add some room reverb. That's horrible, that piano. The timing, I mean. There we go. Cool, okay, on to the next thing. Went a bit weird then, didn't it? Right, okay, we have got the pad. Ah, oh, lush, lush, lush pads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you to comment below this video and give me a hell yeah, or whatever you want, actually. You could just write, my favorite thing in the world is avocados. Um, but just let me know whether you like it or not, whether you're enjoying it, that is the main thing. Drop that comment. Okay, pad, Bosch. Let's color it this color. And first thing I'm gonna do is draw in the notes. And because we don't need this to sound human, we just need to this, this to be exactly in time. And the swell and the slow attack and release of the pads are gonna, gonna make it sit exactly how we want. So what I'm gonna do is just use the Ableton plugins again. So I will go to preview pads. I actually, I don't think the Ableton pads are very good. It's nicer to use something like, um, yeah, a third party synth. There are a, a few all right ones in here. You want, we want something really deep and lush. Ah, that sounds all right. And then I'm just gonna program it in and preview a few. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Uh, right, so. I'm going to show you how you can do those chords if you if you can't use any piano. Um, so you can draw in a little bit of a template. If you start on A, it gives you a little hint there. Just draw in every white note up to the next A, like so. And then if you grab them all and press uh, left on your cursor, it puts it before the clip, whack, fold, boom. Now, if you just use these notes, you're not gonna go wrong and it's gonna sound good. But I'm gonna create two octaves of that, so I'm just gonna grab it, drag it down. Um, I might create three octaves, just so there's a bit more flexibility. So now, if we press fold, we've got three octaves of the key of A minor natural. And that's how you do it. And to write chords, you just simply miss a note, skip a note, skip a note, and then you've got a lovely seventh chord that sounds lush as hell. Lush as heaven, I should say, actually. Hell would be like... Oh, I can't believe I said that. I'm going to have to beep that out, otherwise I'll get demonetized on this. Mm. 
And these are exactly the same chords as played on the piano. See how easy it is. But what I am going to do is I'm going to make these even lusher by doing some chord inversions. I might add a ninth and then a eleventh and see how that sounds. That's going a bit crazy. Now if I unfold, I can actually put these down. In fact, you don't need to unfold. I don't know what you talk I'm talking about. But you can hold shift and press down and it's going to bring everything closer in line. And then it gets really lush and jazzy. But that's too many. So if we see this note here is lower than all these others, if I hold shift and press up, it goes up an octave. So it's the same note, but it brings everything closer together on the keyboard. Let's add some hall reverb. I'm just controlling the low end. So it doesn't clash with our bass when we add the bass. And now we've got some lovely lush chords with our pad. Okay, the last note actually goes up to G. So I'll change that to G. What note is that? What chord? Let's just copy it. There, copied it, paste it. There we go. And I'll just quantize those. Okay, on to the next thing. Hopefully you can hear it taking shape now. Next thing is a, yeah, guitar solo or a sax solo. So again, I'm going to use splice for this. And I am, people have asked me to give an example of using loop cloud. So I will be doing that next week as well, but I'm using splice for this. So all I'm going to do is search for a uh, guitar again, say. Now I'll search for a sax, saxophone. Might sound a bit cheesy. Speaking of which, I was watching um, Mad Max Beyond the Thunder Dome yesterday, which has got some saxophone music courtesy, I believe, of Tina Turner. So that's properly 80s sounding. Anyway, I digress. Saxophone. Here we go. And again, pressing A and then minor means that everything is going to be in A minor. So what we can do is just play the tune and just preview the vibe of it with, um, with Splice. That's just, that's nice. I'm having that. Um, what, something's gone wrong here. On this chord. Oh, I see what I've done. There are two chords. In that same space. There we go. My apologies for that. As I say, this is all live and direct. I mean, it's not live, it's recorded, but I'm doing it in one take, so deal with it. Here we go. So 
So now that those chords follow the piano. So let's get this saxophone in there because I know that Tina Turner would like that. 88 BPM because it tells me on the clip it says here A minor 88 BPM. But I'm going to make it twice as long because that's a bit cray cray. And you would use, you know, ideally you'd actually have a live instrumentalist playing uh, some of these instruments. That's what Black Coffee does in a lot of his tracks. You know, so you have a live singer singing along or a live guitarist or live saxophonist. And that just means that you're not struggling to try and find lots of different licks that all work together but keep interest as well. Um, so I might just save that for a break, for in instance. <laughs> just in case I want to get deep as hell. Nice. Nice. Uh, and I'm going to stick a vocal in as well. Same thing. I'm going to search on uh, Splice. Members of my masterclass actually get a month free on Splice. Um, masterclass is opening on Monday. Well, actually, it's open now, but we're kicking off on Monday. And it's basically eight weeks of coaching, tutoring, getting your music to uh, the quality where it can be released. So there's weekly homework and stuff. If you want to find out more about that, click the link below this video. Well excited about that. Three days to go, then we're hitting it. Right, where was I? Vocals. Um, I want a female vocal. Um, I mean, let's look at the different genres that we can choose from. Um, a minor, yep. Anything with Latin American. I really want something. Okay. See what other tags they've got. Uh, we'll go Latin American. Uh, no, actually we'll go funk, because it's that's gonna be the, the main defining factor. And again it's previewing. And you can just feel fact. Nah. So I found something earlier. Um, let's see. It was some nice vocal. Uh, I can't remember where I found it. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in female vocal. And then I'm going to search for the genre here. What did I say would be good? Uh, we could check out no, African. Let's see what we've got there. Oh, that's nice. That's not uh, A minor. It's nice, but it's... All right, calm down, love. Um, yeah, so the first one's nice, but it's not really long enough. So I'll turn off that and I'll go back to looking for funk, um, which we had. Female vocals. Soul. Nah, soul, that would be it. A minor. Let's have a listen. I'm going to just extend this to make it a bit bigger. Is it crazy? Oh, 
that's nice. because I've been looping this long enough and you're probably getting sick of it now. Um, so let's go to my recently added. And then we got that. So let's just drag that in. And I'm just gonna listen to it on the loop. Sorry, on the drop. Sorry, on the break. Uh, it doesn't say what tempo it is. One more time. No, that's the one I want. And it says at 150. Oh, nice. Complex Pro. Ooh. Okay, right. Now let's get some mixing done, and then we're pretty much there. So let's start. Oh no, we need bass. Let's add some bass. Um, black coffee. Lots of nice real bass sounds, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a real bass guitar, uh, a real sampled bass guitar, uh, with the guitar and bass, sounds, bass. There we go. And I'm not going to use too many, I don't want to complicate it, it's just to add that low end but still give it that real instrument feel. Something like that. As simple as that. So I'm just going to program that in. No, in fact, I'm going to play that in. little cheeky bit. Okay, I messed up a tiny bit, so I just double click, go in there. Again, this is just an A minor natural. Boom, boom. Having these little runs just make it interesting. It leads from one. Hey, 
And that's just a jump of an octave from there to there. And it's important to not have more than one bass note playing at a time because you're only going to be playing one bass note on a bass guitar and you want it to sound more realistic. So there we have it. We've got the kick, the drums, the bass, the piano, the funk guitar, pad, and I think I've got one more thing to add. Something to add a bit more rhythm. And this is going to be really important. I'm going to add a tom drum, or no, sorry, a conga drum, and I'm going to put it nice and low on the register, tuned to the track to keep the low end energy up and going. So just an 808 conga. Uh, first, I will tune it to the track. I'm going to get rid of splice now, it's in the way. Let's make Ableton big again. Um, now, in fact, I'll program it in first. So if we hear the drums, we can hear what I'm doing. I'm just adding that low end rhythm to it. So this is without the conga. And this is with the conga. Whoops, I pasted this in the wrong place. Um, and this is with the conga. Again, it gives it that kind of African slant to it, um, which is the black coffee vibe. And the groove is automatically applied to that as well. So it's, you know, it's got that swing to it. And I'm just going to tune that conga to the track by selecting it in the drum machine and then using transpose. I just do it by ear. But you could do it using a spectrum analyzer. It's so easier to hear high up actually. And once you've got it sounding good high up, you just minus 12 because that's an octave. So it would be 31, because you can see here it says plus 31 semitones. So I just take 12 off that, takes us to 19, take 12 off that, takes us to 7, take 12 off that, takes us to minus 5. As you can see, maths wasn't my strong suit at school. Minus 5. So now it's going to be in tune. everything together. Oh, I got rid of the blimming saxophone. Come back to me, sax. That's quite a nice way to lead into the break, actually. In terms of mixing, what I'm going to do is just make sure that I haven't got unwanted low end and stuff like the real drums, you know, the, the real instruments, like the um, these hats. That's exactly the kind of thing where there'd be unwanted low end. So I'm just going to have a quick um, throw an EQ8 on there and show you what I mean. Like you can see there, all that low end just not needed. So I can just roll that off. I might just apply that to all the drums. Trouble is then your conga's going to have not enough low end as well. Let's just give it a go. 
yeah, that's not going to work because we want this conga to have the nice sub frequencies. So really quickly, let's just mix this a bit. I'm pretty much going to just be taking out some of the low end. Now the piano has got a lot going on. Let's hear it with the kick and the bass. I might put that down an octave on the bass. That's too low. I'm going to add a compressor to the bass because it's going to vary in volume slightly and I want it to be nice and even for the bass line. You can see it's just got a little bit of gain reduction. boosting the sub frequencies a bit on the bass because it I haven't layered it with a uh, sine wave which I usually would our funk guitar just check there's no low end in there that we don't need we've already done the pads Let's do the saxophone. See, the, the saxophone kind of um, clashes with the vocals. So what I'd probably do is this. Have one, then the other. The vocals sound a bit breathier, so I'll boost them in the high end. One more time, one more time, one more time. And then it's all about the groove. I'll do a bit more work on this. And when I have, you can download that for free below this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my masterclass, which is starting on Monday. Uh, we've already got loads of people signed up, so we're really excited about that, me and my co-coach. And until next time, take it easy, cheers, and happy producing. Yeah.